Ryan's speech getting deconstructed. What makes this cater great back to the Europeans last weekend? Femke Kock and Jule Leerden in a 500 meter. And uh, I just, we don't get many angles of this, like really close up stuff. Great turn timing, great blade angles. How do you do this? You push your lead, get off your skates soon, and you don't extend. So let's watch this because it's really, really good lesson from Femke Kock here in this 500. So what we notice is great blade angle there. Is she extending out to the side? No. What's she doing? She's pressing on that skate and driving this skate forward. Watch. See that? So it's really clean. And the days of pushing out to the side are over. Make sure that you crush everything from your glute and push it down and then drive your mass forward. And when you do that, that's what Femke is doing here. Then you come on this blade and you're ready to hit it. Be ready to hit the blade when it hits. Exhaust this push, be done, and then look at this blade angle. I wish we could see it from the side, but it's a great blade angle. So this drive forward, and then the other part about turns is look at how this recovery builds into this. It's synergy, synergy between skates. Your recovery, never think about it, but use it to pressurize the skate you're on. So don't think about your recovery. Think about the skate you're on. If all you do is pressurize this skate and then give it to the next skate, you're, you're good. And she does it so well, look at this. Look at that drive forward. I mean, this is good clearance here. That's what you want to see in the clap era because, I mean, that's just so nice. And sitting position, so great turns from Femke Kock. Now let's look at the exit here for both skaters, Yulirdum and and Femke. Okay, so is there any curl here? Just a little. Always look for the curl. And again, kind of in the middle there, but anatomy drives technique in a lot of ways. But Femke gets right out over it. And again, even the best can improve. So this is not ideal. But that's okay. Dutch always want to get better. A little late with the drive. However, she gets there, and then it's just so dynamic. So there's a little pause here in her technique, just a little bit. If I were a coach, I'd say get the hell out of there sooner. Don't rely on that skate so long but I'm not her coach. But she's so dynamic, look at this. I mean, it's a speed skating poster. So then we've got Yuta behind and she's got a very different technique. Watch this. Look how far her knee drives forward. That's her secret. She gets, it, she must have really strong core or something because she this drive out of this turn is just impeccable and she's right on it and the line is really clean. A little broken there, but watch this. Look how, watch it in slow motion. Look how dynamic she is through that. And so early on that pressure. So I think what it comes down to is, can you come down on your skate ready to pressurize it and go the other way? And that's what these skaters do. So that's it for today. Speed skating deconstructed. What makes a skater great? Two great ladies. and. Kim Min Sun from Korea. They're battling it out in the 500,000. We look forward to the World Cups coming up. But these are great skaters. Learn from them. Talk to you later, skater.